All right, the police sirens just went off. The dogs back behind me are going crazy. But um, I might need the hateful aid on this video. Might need you because um, this is going to be a video that only a certain amount of people, probably a small amount of people can relate to. And what it involves is sleep. You know, we all wanna get a lot of good sleep, remain healthy, so we can go do the things that we need to do. And <clears throat> I'm no exception. I have had some sleep issues, mostly due to my shoulders. I'm a side sleeper. And because I'm a side sleeper, I have had some pretty severe pains in my shoulders when I wake up in the morning. And I have kind of figured out a cure. So, well, Steve, how does this relate to Adventure Outdoors? It's because if I stay healthy, I can go do things that require me using my shoulders and lifting and kayaks and especially paddling. You need strong shoulders to paddle. So. I'm gonna show you something that I'm doing that I did to figure out how to cure a lot, most of my shoulder pain as I sleep due to the fact that I'm a side sleeper. All right, I sleep with a wedge and I sleep with a wedge and it was all by accident. I was a, a pretty heavy snore, had sleep apnea, got diagnosed was given a CPAP machine and spent two nights on it and said, no way, I'm not going to do this. So I turned it back in and my wife suggested, hey, why don't you try a wedge? And I went to Amazon, bought the wedge and boom, overnight, most of my sleeping, uh, most of my snoring problem was gone. So that was the reason for the wedge. But what I did to fix my side sleeping shoulder problem was... I added a second wedge here and I, I stuffed it in between the mattress and the headboard. And what happens here is between the two, whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> between the two, I have a gap that I can lay my shoulder and arm in as I sleep. That takes all of the pressure off of my shoulders as I sleep. So I can turn on either side. I drop my shoulder, the whole thing, drop it all in there and I can sleep well. This part up there helps for my pillow. That keeps my pillow up and I create this tunnel and that has taken away virtually 95% of my shoulder pain as I sleep. All right, so the next part of this is I actually have to rehabilitate my shoulders somewhat because the pain for quite a while was was um, was severe and it's getting better now and it's going to require me to try to build strength back up into my shoulders. So, of course... I got some perfect push-ups and I got these at Goodwill, of course, for like $5 or something like that. So I'm going to start small because I don't want to, I don't want to re-injure anything in my shoulders. I don't want to tear anything. And I'm actually going to do a improper push-up, but I felt like these would be pretty good to help me kind of rehab and build strength back into my shoulders. So uh, if you're having some issues there yourself, a, I think they sell these things still online. Pretty sure they do, but something like this may work for you. So I'm going to start off slow. I'm going to try to do 10. I'm going to have my knees on the ground. So, um, it's the beginning stages of rehab. So here we go. And like I said, I'm not going to do anything rushed. I'm going to make sure that 
if I do feel something going wrong in my shoulder, that I can stop myself before an injury occurs. So, you know, when we were younger, we could all just, you know, rip off, you know, 20 push-ups. Right now, the way my shoulders feel, I wouldn't even try. So, I would like to get back closer to the strength I had before in my shoulders. But I will keep you up to date. And, hey man, order a set of these and do them with me. All right, that's kind of my update for now. I'm Adventure Steve, and I'll see you again really soon in my next video. 47. 48. Just kidding.